You probably haven't realized it yet, but literal teens are making tens of thousands of dollars every month through this one thing called TikTok automation. You see, the TikTok creativity program beta is paying people around $1 per thousand views they get on their videos. And coming from someone that's been automating social media channels for a long time, it's not that hard to hit a couple million views on short form apps like YouTube and TikTok. So I'm gonna show you basically everything you need to know to start up your first page in a really fresh and high virality niche and how to create every single video step by step. But the difference is that our videos are gonna be even better. So there's five steps you need to carefully follow if you wanna become one of the best. I've invited my very good friend, Horace the TikTok wizard here to guide us. So what do you say, Horace? What's the first step? Hello, Leo. The first step before we get into creating the actual video is knowing how to pick a niche. And I don't mean picking some crappy motivational niche. I mean something that'll earn you a ton of cash. Yeah, that's true. Choosing your niche is the most important choice you'll make. If you choose something bad, your page will flop and you'll probably cry yourself to sleep for all the time you wasted. If you choose something good, however, it'll be much, much easier to grow and actually get rewarded for the time you put into it. So usually for each student in my growth program, they have access to a niche guide and a big list of niches I've created. Then our mentors help to find the perfect profitable niche. But now we're on YouTube, right? So I'll have to speed run through this. There's two ways to discover great niches, all right? The first one is scrolling your For You page. Take a look at what kind of videos that get recommended to you. You can ask yourself the following questions when considering niches to make it a little easier. Feel free to pause if you want to really read them through. The second method is to join a community like the one I have and just browse the marketplace to take a look at what accounts people are selling. If there's a big amount of accounts being sold in a specific niche, then it's probably because people are getting great results within that niche. Once you've found something you can imagine doing, you need to look at the competition and volume. Do a quick search of the niche's primary keyword on TikTok. And if there are loads of accounts posting the same types of videos, then it's probably not a good idea. The same goes if you can't find any really viral videos or big accounts. If there's no one else succeeding with the kind of videos you want to make, then it's not likely going to be worth your time. Now that we've picked our niche, what's next, Horace? It's time to get started with the actual video production, my apprentice. You Wi-Fi money freaks might already be familiar with a website called ChatGPT. That's what we're going to be using. Yeah, so the video we're going to be creating today is one of these $1 versus $1 million AI image videos. I'm going to be using ChatGPT because that's kind of the meme, but you can really use any other free image generator you want. Anyways, so one thing I've learned doing social media for ages is that the video topic is the most important thing if you want to go viral. A really good topic with poor execution can still go viral, but a horrible topic with perfect editing and all that will once again be a total flop. Now, I would recommend doing something controversial, but I can't obviously do that, so I'll go with a more simple topic just to show the process. What you want to do is just write something like, generate me a $1 mathematician. Then, generate me a $10 mathematician, and so forth, until you reach $1 million. That's when you do the last one, which is priceless, quote unquote. Since you're done with all the ChatGPT generations, we can move on to the next step. And what is that, Horace? Good job so far. The next step is the AI voiceover. And these videos are actually really convenient, since when you're done with all the generations, you have the entire script for the video finished. So I found this one tool called DupDub that I'll use instead of Eleven Labs. DupDub is pretty much a very versatile AI website overall. You can pretty much do anything on here, like create AI avatars, transcribe, anything. But anyways, back to the voiceovers. So just press on AI voiceover, like this. Choose your voice. You can listen to a few different samples to find something that you like. But yeah, choose your voice. I'm going to go with an ultra one, as those are the highest quality. You can also clone your own voice or like Donald Trump's voice if you want to increase the virality of your video. It's more effective than you think to keep people engaged. Anyways, then as usual, just go back to ChatGPT, copy your first script, meaning your first prompt, and insert it into DubDub. Now press this little circle play button, and you'll hear like a preview of it generate me an image of a $1 mathematician. If you're satisfied, you can just go ahead and press the little export button to the top right, and then choose these settings, like the file format. 
I personally like this kind of preview thing so you can check out how it'll sound before you generate it. Right now, you should have a voiceover, but no background or video footage at all. I'm not going to be showing it for this example, but you can also create your own AI avatar using DubDub, which is one of the reasons why the platform works pretty well. It's got all these features in one place. But now, back to the tutorial. The video footage, that's what we're going to gather. And don't worry, I've made this as easy as possible. You've probably seen these TikToks that use Minecraft or GTA 5 gameplay as the background footage. I've gone ahead and put a lot of the most viral gaming clips, plus all the trendiest sound effects people like myself use on TikTok in a free Google Drive folder to save you some time. It's linked in the description among all the other AI tools used in this video. Just go get it for free and thank me later. That's not all though, since we need the actual screenshots from the ChatGPT conversation. So just go back to your chat, take all the screenshots you'll show in the video somewhat like I'm doing here. While you're taking the screenshots, I heavily recommend that you should name each screenshot in the right order, because it'll save you a lot of time when putting it all together. Same goes for the voiceovers. Speaking of assembling all the content, let's get to that, shall we? You've been working so hard to make all these assets. Yes, you're right. It's time. So my favorite website is CapCut. It's free, easy to access online, and just works pretty great. Head over to their website, create a new project, then choose the TikTok video format as always. Then you can just go ahead and take one of the gameplay clips you downloaded from the folder and press it so that it appears on the canvas like this. Obviously, you want to expand the video so that it takes up the entire frame. Now, it's time to start adding each voiceover part by part. You can always preview the video and listen. Generate me an image of a $1 mathematician. So that the pauses and the timing between the voiceovers is good. And also, this is pretty important. If something sounds too loud, you can click on it and then lower the volume up here. Keep in mind, you'll have to do that for every separate voiceover though. All right, so let's take a look at what we got. Generate me an image of a $1 mathematician. It's pretty good. Next up, we have to do the screenshots and the process is super similar to the voiceovers. You just drag them to a different track and make sure each screenshot appears the same second the voiceover starts. So I'll just show you adding the first one here. And then here's the video after all the screenshots are added. Your timeline should look something like this. Right, so pretty much all the visual content is done, but the video is still not as engaging as we could make it. So let's just go back to the drive folder real quick. Download the Riz effect and upload it to CapCut. Now we can just create another track for the sound effects and make this whole video a little bit more fun. So once again, just add the Riz effect the same second every screenshot appears. It's really simple. When you've done that for every image, your intro should look like this. A $1 mathematician. Right, so the video is basically done. Horace, do you have any tips that can help actually going viral? Yes, yes, of course. There's three things you need to do. Always make the first second of the video really controversial or mind-blowing. This first second is what determines if the viewer watches your video or not. If the hook is boring, your average view duration will be astronomically low. Use a trendy sound, believe it or not, but your sound choice is really important. Some people only watch the video because the song is catchy. Third and last, include an element that makes the viewer want to re-watch the video. If you've seen these videos on TikTok that only show important info for a short moment, this is because people are required to re-watch the video, increasing the average view duration. All right, thanks. That's great to know. The reason why I haven't added a sound yet is because I can simply upload the video to TikTok and look at the trending sounds, meaning I don't have to spend time searching for it on the internet. Now that you got your first video, a US TikTok account, and hopefully our mentors in the Discord, you're completely set up for success. Good luck, soldier.